Let me get this straight, guys. Hang on, because I moved my camera up so I'd have more room. Because the pumpkin is big. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Heather. So we'll see how this goes. Because it's, you know, it takes, it goes way up to the camera. So let's see. Here, let me adjust my lighting a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Okay, Lori Darla. Hey, Janet. It's pumpkin day. <laughs> Hiya, Sammy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd lock the cats out because I got I'm gonna have to get out water and and mat medium and all that. So yeah, I had to take had to lock the kitties out, and they're not happy about that. Here, let's put. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Lori. Um, let's see who else. Anne. <clears throat> Anybody else I'm missing? Happy Monday. <laughs> Tez, Karen. Cynthia, anybody I'm missing? Hi, good morning. Hope you had a good weekend. Karen, I said hi to Karen. Kenny, hi, Kenny. I'm sure I'm missing some people, but good morning. Thanks for thumbs up already. Hi, Gail. So, yeah, we're going to do our yearly collage pumpkin. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I should, well, I'll tweet in a couple minutes. Yeah. Hi, Mitz. Ro, uh, Kat, Lisa, Joe Beth, Sue. So if you're just joining us for the first time or you're watching the recording, I do come on a little early to say good morning to everybody. And uh, that's what we're doing now. So if you want to hurry up and get to the project, just slide that little slider over. <laughs> uh, hi, Angie. Let's see who else. Diane. <clears throat> Hope everybody had a good weekend. Okay, lurk away, Diane. Lurk away. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Everybody's saying good morning to each other. Thanks, everybody. So, yeah, I had a busy weekend, went up and saw Denise, and uh, I got this propped up here because there's a, there's a glare, so yeah, I put something under there, keep the glare off until we get to it, there we go. Uh, I'm going to get my breakfast, okay, all right, I don't know why that was had to be approved, <laughs> Gail, your breakfast had to be approved by a mod. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Joey, Arlene, let's see who else. Hey, kangaroo babe. <laughs> so I, I got this calendar specifically, specifically for the pumpkin. And then I have my doors. Of course, y'all know I've already cut my doors out or down, I should say. I have some watches over here. I have some space stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. I have a general idea what I'd like to do, but it's not like every detail is not planned out. I did get happy mail from Beth and Colleen. We'll try to show that later. Um, I did the uh, washi tape swap with them. So, um, yeah, so we might do that after a while. We'll see how much time we got. Um, let's see. I think I've caught up to everybody. Lisa, let's see. So, yeah, did everybody did anybody do anything exciting or fun or different over the weekend? <clears throat> let's see. Do I have any new pictures or anything? Let's see. Oh, the that's Bob Ross. That's Bob Ross. <laughs> 
uh, I think I did. Oh, oh, I did have one picture. This was so good. Oh, I don't want to see what's new. I did the update on my phone last night. Now it's telling me everything that's new. I don't want to know everything that's new right now. Although I did make myself uh, my own emoji, my self emoji. So <laughs> I showed it to Denise and mom this morning. So yeah, I made my, I made my own little emoji <laughs> to look like me. Oh, that was kind of fun. Um, let's see. Uh, where's those pictures that I saved? Uh, so, yeah, I love this. So my daughter Annie out in L.A. and my grandson. <laughs> you know, you heard the, you've heard the uh, term. You've heard the term helicopter mom, right? You know, someone, a mom that hoovers over and, you know, you know, watches everything their kids do and all that. Well, Annie goes, I'm no helicopter mom. I'm dug in. I'm dug in like an Alabama tick. <laughs> so there's Annie and, and Logan. <laughs> I'm dug in like an Alabama tick. <laughs> that was kind of cute. I Okay. Well, I thought it was cute. <laughs> Let's see. Do I have anything else going on? <laughs> I know, right, Janet? I don't think. Oh, I did find this picture online. Y'all know who this is? Y'all know who this is? Can anybody guess who this is? I found this online. I'll give y'all a minute to just, just think about who this is. <laughs> It was cute. <laughs> Did anybody else see this online? Hi, Jean. I got to show that sweater thing, too. I showed it to Denise. Okay, so nobody knows? Hi, Shauna. I mean, it's an old picture, obviously. You know, it's an old picture. <laughs> I know they do, Elaine. They do. All right, I'm going to tell y'all who it is. It's Bob Ross. It's Bob Ross when he was in the, uh, I think he was in the Air Force. No, it's Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah, Kathy got it. Or no, Katie. Katie got it. <laughs> yeah, Bob Ross. And then, I don't think I saved that picture. I'll, I'll go over to my messages. I've sent it to Denise. Um, somebody posted this to Jean. You know, Jean's been knitting, knitting, knitting. Well, Denise, Denise is always, she doesn't like the cold. So when it gets cold, <laughs> I always, hi, Teresa. When it gets cold, I always uh, post stuff like this. And somebody posted this to Jean on her knitting. But I posted it to Denise on the cold issue. I don't know because I, it won't let me get in because I have my camera raised up really high. Look at that. It's like a body sweater. <laughs> anyway, and then, and that's what people are teasing Jean about her knitting. So yeah, that was funny. Okay. What else do I have here? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe that's all. I try to kind of have a few pictures to, so, um, yeah, I think that's it, though. I think that's it. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. You're almost done with the Till's first mitten. You've been knitting for a year, Jean. You'd think you'd have everybody, including all of us, with a, a new mittens. <laughs> You've been knitting for a year. <laughs> well, maybe not quite that long, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should post a picture of the pumpkin. Copying art in the morning. Live. Let's see. I will post... Um, Let's see, there's that. Where's my little palette? Let's see. 
There's the little, well, where's my coffee? I lost my coffee when I went to something else. You're, it only holds so many there. Uh, where's my little art palette, my coffee? So, for those of y'all don't know, the Braves are two to one in the Nationals. We only have to win the best of three out of five to go to, well, wait, is that considered the Nationals? Is this the Nationals? Well, we have one more series after this before we can go to the World Series. So we're looking forward to going, you know, further in the Braves. Chop on. Oh, that's what the Braves fans do in the stands. I still can't find my little artist palette. Where is that little thing? Where's that little artist palette? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hmm. Well. <laughs> Hi, Zaylee. She's on Big Judd doing stuff. Oh, oh the, <laughs> okay, Ian. Hi, Ian. Jean says, I've completed two and two thirds shawls, hat, mittens, Till's hat. Yeah, it seems like, hi, Christine. Seems Anne. It seems like you've been knitting forever. I'm looking on, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to tweet and I can't find my uh, little cough, I mean, my little palette. I don't know. I guess I have to not post it with a palette. So I'm not finding it anywhere. Where'd it go? Hmm. I'll have to dig around later and find it because I'm not seeing it right now. Okay. All right. Well, let me just post this then. <clears throat> Arlene, my fella had to explain the chop on. Yeah, because they're the Braves. Yeah, it's called the Tomahawk. Tomahawk Chop, the Atlanta Braves, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you did, Jean. I, I'm getting a hard time. I'm sure you've done a gazillion. Hi, Pacola. CB, Roe, Debbie the Doodler. <clears throat> I have my camera raised an extra six inches higher than I normally do so that my... um. So that my pumpkin would fit under there. I just thought Bob Ross looked cute. On it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Melody J. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up already. Yeah, we do it once a year. Um, I could probably show, let me go on my Instagram and find some of the pictures from last couple years. Plus, I have a couple of my masks. I have, I can't keep the pumpkins because the pumpkins are real. It's a real pumpkin. So, you know, it lasts about a month. But I'll show my masks here in a minute. Um, it's a real pumpkin. So, you know, once it goes soft, it goes in the trash. <laughs> Christine let's see let me go to my Instagram at least find last year's uh, pumpkin let's go back when I see my Inktober up oh, there's the Inktober so I know it's close because I do one every year where is it where's last year's pumpkin uh, here it is okay so here's last year's pumpkin well I don't know if you're going to be able to see it if you go on my Instagram, you'll be able to see it better. I can't believe it's been a year. It seems like I just did this. It seems like I just did it. <laughs> but my cats from Inktober last year, it seems like I just did my cats from Cats and Calligraphy from last year. Yeah, it just flew by. This year has flown by. Does anybody else think it's flown by? No, I'm not going to do all that, Ian. I don't have a place to store all these pumpkins, even if I, even if I kept them. I, I mean, I could do a fake pumpkin and collage it. I just, I just do it. Sometimes Hubster takes them to work, puts them on his desk for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, that's why I take pictures, Pacola. <laughs> Kenny goes, I'm old. Every year flies by. I need a new picture of your granddaughter, Kenny. You need to, to message me or email me a new a new picture of your granddaughter. I did Kenny's grand. Let me see. If, well, I don't know if I know exactly where that is on my Instagram. It's on my Instagram, but, you know, when you scroll through and you got hundreds of things, how many posts do I have? I have 688 posts on Instagram. That's not really a lot, lot, but... If you're trying to find a specific one, I know it's going to go way back because it's been, well, how long has it been since I did your uh, picture of your granddaughter, Kenny? Three years? Oh, it's farther back than this. Let's keep rolling back. How long was it? Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. So if you go on my Instagram, you can see there's Kenny's granddaughter. <clears throat> Yeah, but that was, let's see when that was. It was 2017, so it was two years ago. That was two years ago. Yes, I know, right? <clears throat> okay, so, hi, Mary. And hi, Painty Girl. Painty Girl says she has, she's sending me um, some uh, envelope for her, um, her page in the Fibs book. I still have to do some more. Um, you know, I try to just do the Fibs book a little as, as we go. So I have something, you know, I have Happy Mail here. Well, it was the washi tape um, swap that I did with Colton and Beth. So I don't know if there's some stuff in there that I can use on their pages or not. But we'll see about showing that after a while. Hi, Pamela, Teresa, Angela. Who else did I miss? Zoe. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. So I need to, I already have a little Corningware dish thing in my bathroom to put hot water in. So when I go get some, it doesn't have to be boiling hot. It just needs to be warm enough to kind of soften your papers. All right, oh, here's my mask. Let me just show you those real quick. So I did these a while back too. And it's all the same kind of process. All my collage process is the same. So here's a couple masks that I've done. And again, guys, I, I don't know how clear everything's going to be and all that because I raised my camera way up so the pumpkin would fit under there. But I did these little half masks. <clears throat> see some little people down there. This one. And they're just those plastic masks that you can get at. Uh, I got them at Hobby Lobby. You can probably get them at Michael's too. So. And I varnished them, obviously, with uh, my uh, indoor outdoor gloss varnish. Have you ever done the mask with the long nose? Of, no, no, I haven't done one of those. Cameron did one of those one year. No, I haven't done those. All right, so let's see here. What we can do. All right, so here's the thing. I got me a piece of um, parchment paper to work on so I don't make a big mess, but I usually start by painting. It's going to be bright. I usually start by painting the pumpkin black just so it has a base coat. And then I usually um, like do the stem gold, silver, or some kind of metallic paint. So that's usually what I do the stem. And then if y'all did not know already, the reason that I bought this calendar was for the pumpkin project. And I'm going to use my doors that and once I get it going, I can we'll see how far I can zoom in. But um, while I'm doing the base, you know, putting on the base and all that, I'll stay kind of far away and then I can either lower my camera or zoom in. So I have my doors to use on it and I have some watches, some space stuff. Oh, oh, I gotta show y'all one more thing. I know we're not doing the Poe thing right now. That being said, though. 
y'all know I'm doing my po book. I'm not going to pull the po book out right now because it's behind me with stacks of stuff on it. But I did go ahead and get a couple of other po things. So <laughs> I'll probably end up giving this away. But um, so I got a po co this po color book, and it's all different um, po stories and poems. Right? It's not it's not like just the raven or anything like that. Do you prime the pump? No, I just paint it, Ian. I just slap on some acrylic paint. Um, <laughs> I don't prime anything, really, <laughs> to tell you the truth. My matte medium, you know, the matte medium is what I use pretty much as a base. So after I, you know, when I'm going to glue on, glue on the collage, I, I, I'm using matte medium, and that's plenty to protect it or whatever. So, so I got this... Um, uh, Odessa Begay or Begay, that's the author or the artist. And um, so, yeah, I got that one. And I got this one. <clears throat> this one's Jade Summer. Everybody knows who Jade Summer is. And so this one looks really, you know, and the backs are black. So that uh, if you use marker, now this, this does not protect. The, the black does not protect from like if you're using a Copic from going through it just so that you don't see it, you know, it just kind of, it just protect, it makes it look prettier, but it doesn't protect markers from going through. But anyway, so this one's a Jade summer. I'll show it again later when we go work in the po book or when I work in one of these, I'll show it in, you know, a little better. Cause I'm so far zoomed up guys. I'm like two feet. The camera is two feet away from my desk. I have it propped up really high. What's not waxy? You know, the pumpkin, yeah, it's a little waxy. It doesn't matter. I paint over it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, I really like this one. So I got it, this one. And then um, I know I have a lot of Edgar um, Allan Poe uh, stuff in other books like in other poetry books, but I, and I don't know if I ever bought a full on copy of all the complete tales and poems. So I bought the complete tale and poems. Look at this. I bought the complete tales and poems of Poe. And then I have over here is where I have it marked for the Raven. So the Raven um, right here, it's uh, just that. It's right there, it's 18 stanzas. So and I just put these little stickers in there for a bookmark. Anyway, um, I did not think that this is how much, um, how much he's written, you know. Well, it's just been so long. You know, it's been high school, right? So I thought, well, you know, and a lot of people are doing Poe books, but they're not necessarily, let me see, there's a glare. They're not necessarily doing Edgar Allan Poe poetry or stories or references to Poe in their Poe books. They're using it more like a Halloween book. So they're putting, um, you know, just whatever, a haunted house picture, um, you know, anything, anything that you reference for your Halloween, you trick or treaters, you know, little costumes, whatever. So if you're doing a Poe book, just, you know, you don't have to do everything in Poe. Right. I know, Janet. Right. And so then I printed out here. So I'm going to see if I can cut these down or reuse the line. So I have it in two sizes. Um, the Raven printed out. Now, it's not in correct stanzas, but that's okay because I'm going to cut them out. Um, cut them out, ink them, color them. I don't know yet, but it's in the uh, black letter, the old English uh, font. So what I'll do, though, is I'll put, I'll intersperse a little calligraphy, like the word nevermore, or, you know, something, just, a, you know, some of the words, some of the words I'll intersperse with my own calligraphy. Um, and then the rest, I'll cut the lines out, and I'll glue them into the book, or if not in the book on another, like parchment or something, and then put them in the book. So I'm all ready. I'm ready for the Poe. I'm ready for Poe. <laughs> But today we are going to do the pumpkin. I haven't picked anything out exactly what I want. 
Maybe you should draw Poe for. I already did draw Poe. I did draw Poe, and um, the I've already sent it out. Um, some people, oh, I'll show it to you. I'll show it now that it's sent out. <clears throat> so the people that have supported my channel in the last month are getting a copy. Let me, I'm looking through my sketchbook here because I have all my sketches that I'm working for Inktober. So, yeah, I did draw Poe. i got to find him, though. Hang on. I'll show my Inktober drawings again here. Mm -hmm. Let me find a song. Let me find one here. So I have them. Here's my Poe. I'm a little bent there. So I drew Poe just like I did my Inktober's. Um, kind of simple, basic, sketchy with the ballpoint pen. So I did them with the ballpoint pen. Um, hi, Colleen. I was just talking about you. I did them with the ballpoint pen and ink in my, uh, you know, my um, ink and a brush. <clears throat> and then what I did is I had them printed out on some nice paper. And so everybody that supported me in the last month or so, um, I sent one of these prints to. So, yeah. So you all be, if you, <laughs> you'll be getting one. Uh, and if you don't get one and, and I missed you, let me know. I'll send you one. So, yeah, but this is the this is the original drawing. So I did draw Poe for whoever said that. <laughs> and I'll post I'll post Poe later when I finish the book. I'll do a little video or something of the Poe um, po book and all. So, yeah. And I'll try to show my Inktobers after a while. Okay. So, let's see here. Don't forget to put it in caps if you're talking to me, guys. Make sure you have live chat selected at the top. Not just top chat. Because if you just have top chat, you won't, get, you won't see all the chat. So, make sure you have live chat selected make sure if it goes fuzzy on oh, here's a couple other things first off if it goes fuzzy make sure your little wheel uh did not default back uh youtube sometimes defaults your settings back to like 144 reset your little wheel setting to 720 or 1080p the other thing is is over the weekend my internet was flicking in and out and I called them and they said that it was in the area. It was like in our neighborhood. They think it might be a node, you know, in one of those green boxes. So they said it might be a node. I have somebody coming out Wednesday afternoon. They wanted to come out Wednesday morning. And I said, no, because I'm streaming Wednesday morning, you know. So they're going to come out Wednesday afternoon if, you know. So what I'm saying all that to say, if we get disconnected, I can try to come back in, you know, a few minutes or so, but it's my internet in the neighborhood. There's an, apparently a weak node in the internet cable. So just the FYI, if it does. Oh, you're welcome. Hi, Barbara. If it, Hi, Vicki J. Um, if it does go out. Hi, Scoobs. Lori, anybody else I miss, I just want you to know I can try to come back. You know, I'll go check my modem boxes and I've unplugged and I've done all the stuff you do, do you know. Um, and uh, just FYI. So I, I don't don't anybody freak out if I go away. It's my neighborhood Internet. OK. All right. So I got this. Let me move this over here. I got this calendar specifically. For this project. Now I haven't picked out what I want to use yet. So I'm going to kind of flick through it now. And see which one. I really like this one. So I might go with it. Let me find it. Oh let's go here. Let's go here. <clears throat> let's get rid of the. Tilt that so the glare. I like this one too. So it's. And not just for. You know because there's going to be plenty for other projects. But I got it uh, to use on my pumpkin. Y'all know, here it is. Y'all know I always buy my calendars in February, the first week of February, all calendars at Barnes and, I mean, at Books A Million, 
go on sale for three dollars i got this one at barnes and noble and i paid well i got my barnes and noble discount but i paid regular price for this one because it's not on sale yet you know they're still just coming out with 2020 calendars um so i like this one let's see i don't know that i'll need more than one page because it's gonna spread out maybe some of this one mm, let's see Okay, let's go with this one. Let's go with this big tree. So we'll go with these two. Okay. We'll go with these two. All right, now I don't know. I can't really do much about the glare of the light because this is shiny paper. I'll just move it down there. Shiny paper, you know, but I'm going to tear it up. All right, so now what I need to do is go get my hot water um, I have a bowl in the bathroom that I'm going to put hot water in uh, enough to soften the papers because the calendar, the, you know, it's a calendar paper, but and it's kind of like when you make an outfit and you do a, your sleeves and you have to put darts in it to make it round. Well, you got to do that on a pumpkin. Okay. You got to do that on the pumpkin. You have to dart it <laughs> or tear small enough pieces and, and glue them around so that if, if you can't just, in other words, you can't just do this. You can't just slap it on there and glue it. You know, it's not, it's not going to, it's not going to work. See? So you have to dart it, cut it down or just smaller pieces or whatever. All right. So let me go ahead and get my hot water. I didn't get it previously because it would have been cold by now. Plus, I'm going to uh, pour out some matte medium, and I use golden golden matte medium. Okay, so I'm going to pour some of that out in my little jar, I mean in my little tray here. Get out plenty. And I put a baggie on top of the jar, and then, or I can put it in the... Uh, dish soap but I, I just poured out quite a bit so i'm going to need quite a bit and then when you put the lid back on it it won't glue the lid shut to the jar okay and then i got out my glue one of my glue brushes they're one of the the, the only brushes i keep in water are my glue brushes so i poured some of that out there all right let me go get my bo um, bowl of hot water hang on guys Boiling hot or anything, just warm, you know. So, I'm gonna get some paper towels here, get another roll in here. All right, so no questions or anything. I see nothing in caps, so I just have a little bowl here. So, put that here, put some paper towels, make too much of a mess. All right, so let's see. I got my baby wipes. All right, so I think I'll start. Uh, oh, you know what? I should have painted first. Now I got to, well, my water will probably get cold. But <laughs> I forgot I wanted to paint it black. Um, or you know what? Let's paint it. Maybe we'll paint it uh, dark green. Nah, let's go ahead and go with black. It'll be easier. <laughs> Just be easier. Then we can add we can add whatever color we want afterward. Okay, so put out some put out some black paint here. Okay, shouldn't take it that long to paint it. All right, so let's get a nice big brush. Get the brush wet. Right. Okay. Stay under the camera here. All right, so now I'm just going to paint the whole pumpkin. Oh, my brush got a little water in there. Let's soak it off. 
<clears throat> so while I'm doing this, if anybody wants to tell me what they've been doing, I'll have to dry it. If it doesn't dry quick enough, I'll just hit my hit it with my heat gun uh, in stages. So um, is anybody who's doing a Poe book or doing the um, anybody doing Colleen's? Uh, I need to do another uh, abandoned place. Maybe I'll do that on Monday. I mean, on Wednesday. Provided my internet and all, because like I said, they said a node was faulty or something. So they're going to come out and look at it but uh, in the neighborhood. But I need to do another abandoned place, maybe a Halloween one, you know. So is anybody doing a Poe book? And when I say a Poe book, it, like I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be about Edgar Allan Poe. It could be any Halloween thing. Are we still here? Chat's not moving. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was out off. It was off and on over the weekend. So, we'll see how if we can get this done. You like you like the idea of doing abandon on Wednesday, Pacola? Okay, so Devin Art said I did one of the Halloween prompt page with Colleen Beth. Okay, what what was the prompt page? I mean, was there a, was it like the haunted house one or what was it? I know they did a haunted. I'm gonna try to get as much paint as far as down as I can, and then I'll uh, dry it and turn it on its side. <clears throat> Laura, hi Laura. I'll be coloring a Halloween theme page. I think. When when are you gonna do that, um, Laura? Are you gonna do it on stream? And when when will that be? I was going to look at your washi tape after a while. Your be you you and Beth's uh, happy mail, Colleen. After if we get this done, no idea. Okay, <laughs> I liked your one where you painted with dirt or mud. Laura Laura went out in the woods and painted with mud. <laughs> it turned out really good too. <clears throat> All right, let me just keep turning it here. But I did enjoy doing this. Do I do enjoy painting a pumpkin every year. And I did enjoy doing those masks. Okay, so, yeah. Halloween theme. Oh, it's Halloween theme prompts. Oh, okay, Arlene, thank you. Nah, this is fine. <laughs> I'd probably spin it around and go flying in. <laughs> Let's see, Faithful Girl, um, color with Faithful Girl. I've been coloring witches for in in these, I don't know who that is. I don't even I can't even pronounce her name, but I don't know, I don't know who that is, Faithful. Um I'm not in any Facebook groups or I, I'm in Pan Pastels, and that's it. Um and I'm in a history one or something. I even got out of all the history ones. Um, I just didn't have time to be in any groups and I feel bad being in Facebook groups and I can't participate because I don't have time. So I just left them all. You know, no offense to anybody that's group I was in. I just don't have time to be in any groups. So, and you know, to me, if you're in a group, you want to, you should be participating. If you're in a group and you're not participating, why are you in it? Right? So that's my theory. <laughs> So I said, I can't be in these groups. I don't have time. Okay, so let me hit this with the heat gun now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, AJ. Ashley, anybody else I miss? It's going to take a minute here. Just put it on mute if you don't want to hear it. Or slide it by if you're watching the recording. Thank you, Pacolia. Thanks, everybody, for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Oh, 
um, whoops, uh, acrylic paint dries really fast. And again, I usually paint the stems either silver, gold, bronze. Maybe tie a, you know, I do have some different, um, uh, Halloween, like little bats and stuff that I normally don't have, but I have this year because of my Poe book. Almost got it here, guys. Okay, I think that part's dry enough for me to turn it on its side and do the bottom. Does anybody else decorate a pumpkin? I mean, do you carve one? Do you decorate one? I I used to do uh, pumpkin carving. I'd be in contests and stuff like that. But I don't really do that. I don't, you know, because I stream, we do stuff like this. Uh, I can't imagine trying to carve one on a stream. That might be a little tricky. <laughs> Hi, Essie. Who else am I missing here? Devin, Debbie, Kim. But, you know, I just like to, you know, enjoy the holidays and Thanks, you know, we try to do a little something Thanksgiving, Christmas. You know, I try to even try to do some Hanukkah stuff. You know, try to <laughs> just, you know, have a good time on our show. Do different art projects and craft projects and drawing and painting, coloring. All right, there we go. All right, let me um let me draw the bottom now. Hang on. More the sculptures with it. Oh, awesome. Well, make sure you post pictures. Unless you already have some, you have some up from in previous years, Laura, on Instagram or anywhere. If not, I'll look forward to seeing this year's. Ian, are pumpkins expensive in the UK? You have a video from last year. Okay. Denise gave me some big boards, too. Maybe I should paint one of those. Let me see if I, I have got a picture. I put them out on my front porch. It's funny to see gourds and fall stuff with green ferns. <laughs> but, you know, that's the south for you. <laughs> Let me find a picture here. Uh, okay, here we go. So here's on my front porch. <clears throat> See, I've got all kinds of gourds and big pumpkins and crates, and then I got my ferns up there on the stand. <laughs> Maybe I should do one of these, one of these big gourds here. You know, look at that one's wrapped around down there. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me get a, <clears throat> let me get a baby wipe here. All right, so I think, well, let's see if I can get some of this wet paint up just so I'm not dragging through it here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so now there's still a few little spots, but I think we'll be okay. 
<coughs> I'm not really care if it's completely covered or anything because I'm going to, you know, put paper on it. So let's just kind of get some of those. Dab that up. Okay, let's hit that with a heat gun. I'm going to paint, you know, uh, matte medium it. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, thank you, Colleen. All right. So now let's move this. Okay, my paper's still, it's damp. <laughs> I mean, uh, my uh, it's warm. So all we have to do is get these damp. I think I'll start with this big tree first. All right, so I'm going to just, let's just start tearing it as much as we can. Let's see, maybe this. All right, so let's just kind of start seeing where we're going with it. And you, it's better if you have torn edges. Torn edges will blend better with paint than straight edges. So I do want to try to get rid of all the cut edges if possible. So that it, and then see how it still won't, it still won't, I'm going to lay it down in just a minute, but it, it, it needs tearing to fit. Now, if I wet it, then I can do a little more. Let me move this to the side. If I wet it, it'll fold a little better. Okay, so I'm probably going to stand up over it here. So as long as I don't still hear me in my microphone. All right, so I'm going to take, I'll just start with one and I'm going to just get it damp soft I should say I'm just going to kind of soften it right let me put um let me get rid of this black paint for now and let me clean this brush a little bit and put it in water so it doesn't dry out get another bag on the baby white okay all right now get my matte medium and my glue It's a little harder to see chat now that I'm standing up. Okay, so now this is going to be soft enough where I can put it on here. And I want it as high up to the top as I can get it. Okay, so now that it's soft, right, I can put a, because it's not too big of a piece. This is probably about as big of a piece as I can get without it not folding, not so it'll still fold over. Okay, so now what I have to do is kind of just mold it, mold it to the pumpkin. But you don't want to mess with it so much because I've already got it wet. You don't want to mess with it so much you're going to tear it or remove the ink. So you just going to kind of, there's some wrinkles, that's fine. You just got to kind of just get it on there like that. And then you can take a baby wipe and just kind of, you can get rid of some of the excess. I'll put a, I'm going to varnish it at the end. Um, this is just to glue it on. I'm going to varnish it with uh, gloss varnish after it's all said and done. So as long as it's glued down. Okay. All right. So there's our first piece. All right. Let me look at you. Hi, Tony. I know I'm going to be missing people coming in and out because I can't keep up with chat as much when I'm doing standing up over this. So don't get offended. Don't think I'm not. I'm ignoring you. All right, and see some of the, I've pulled off some of the paint. It doesn't really matter because we're going to paint over it anyway. I just want a little bit of a base. It just makes the it cloche stick to it a little better, and uh, we're going to be using other you know colors anyway. All right, so now I'm going to hit this with the heat gun. We're going to be going back and forth. The reason I want to hit it with the heat gun is so I can turn it, okay, and handle it better. And then we're going to put the doors, we're going to use the doors on top of this. Okay, so now let's just do a little quarter turn. Well, I might have to put some pop something up under it here. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to take the next section of tree. <clears throat> and again, I want to tear off. This might be a little big. I mean, a little, 
I think I'm going to tear this into two pieces because it's going to really not fold if I don't. Okay, so then this one, I'm going to tear a little off the bottom. All right, back to the matte medium. Let's put some matte medium. Let's go ahead with that wet. Get that in the water. And again, you don't have to leave it in there long. Just enough to get it a little soft and pliable. Okay. Okay. Okay, mash it in well. Get off a little excess that medium. See, and I am wiping off some of the paint, but that again, I'm covering that up anyway. Okay, all right, fresh baby wipes. <clears throat> All right, let's dry. I want to make sure it's really glued down. And all the little, oh, so you got to be careful. <clears throat> it's very soft, the paper on there. That's good enough. Let's tear a little bit of here. Put that in the water. Turn it again. Whoop. Let's put this on this side. Keep it from rolling. top okay my brush needs I need to clean a little bit of black paint in that let's get some of that off get it mashed down in the crevices of the pumpkin this one's not too bumpy but you still want to make sure it's okay. fresh baby wipes. <laughs> you go through a lot of baby wipes when you collage. All right, let's dry this. Strip. I'm gonna tear the top off. Some little sides, so it's um, not a straight edge. Tear some of this off the bottom, which we'll use in a little bit. Tear this in half. <coughs> okay. Again, guys, I'm standing up, so I can't see chat as much. All right, let's wet this down. Lean over and see. Yes, it's from a calendar, Keisha. Okay. Let's put a little, make sure it's all far enough around there. Okay. 
Let's glue down, mash it down. Get off some of that. There's black paint in my matte medium because I'm picking some up that I didn't completely dry. See, didn't completely dry the pumpkin. Okay, more heat gun. <laughs> Let's see while I'm drying. Yeah, I because I don't want to use one, uh, Danny. I like using a real pumpkin. I just like to. I don't want to keep it. I don't have places to store pumpkins and stuff. I, I just don't. So, Hubster usually takes him to work, sets him on his desk for a couple of weeks. Let's see anybody else. I'm looking for any, put it in caps, guys, if you want to talk to me. Yeah. All right, so now rather than just put some more of this color or this color, I'm gonna start fading over into the green. All right, so let's tilt it this way. So about half the pumpkin's gonna be the orange and half of it's gonna be the green. Okay. So I'm going to tear this. So I'm going to tear these trees off. And I'm going to go with the green next. So they'll kind of blend together. So let's just go ahead and do all these strips. Tear off some of the straight edge. Top and bottom. Okay, put this in the water. Matte medium. <laughs> And we're going to paint on it and everything. And we've still got to add the doors on there. So this is kind of just like an underpainting, if you will. Get off the excess water. Oh, need a little bit more down here. Okay. Sure, it's all mashed down. Let's go. There we go. I did move, like I said, I moved my camera up an extra six inches just to have room here uh, to have the pumpkin under the camera. Okay, excess there. Get another fresh baby wipes. All right, let's dry. And if you're doing one of these at home, don't rush. You know, I do kind of try to hurry a little bit on stream on all the projects so we have time to get things done. But don't don't rush it if you're doing something like this at home. All right, let's turn. Got my little thing to prop it up with there. Okay. All right, next section. Put that in water. That might be a little wide, but I'll go with it. We still, yeah, okay, the color's okay. Or the lighting, I should say. Let's move that up just a little. Whoop, 
So you got get on the chair. There we go. Mash it all down and repeat. <laughs> We just got, we probably need about maybe three more pieces and we should be good. Okay, remove the excess. Okay, let's, more baby wipes. <laughs> Thanks, sister. <laughs> I'll show the whole thing as soon as, you know, we get it all based here. Let's do another quarter turn or eighth, eighth of a turn. <laughs> okay, now let's see the thing over on this side just to prop it. Come on, maybe I need something else too. There we go. All right, next piece. Let's see. Let's do, let's do two pieces here. <clears throat> Alright. Put that on the water. Put paint on there. Okay. I have to see if I have any little, I used to have some little stickers of some little fairies and some little wood nymphs and some little things like that. I don't know if I can find those. Those would be good inside the doors, you know. I'm just now thinking of that. See, I told you this is on the fly. All I knew is I wanted to do this into the woods base with the doors. And then inside the doors, you know, I'll see if I can find some of those little stickers now we'll see how much time that takes to go through that stuff <laughs> but something like that that would be cute wouldn't it inside the little doors all right drying just got two more pieces there Then I've got some of the bottoms and things I can put at the bottom. Although I could also just paint that. Hi, Lisa Scott. I just saw you there. Hi. Hope you're doing well. I've heard from you uh, email wise in a while. So I got two pieces. I got one more of the green, and then we're going back into the yellow. So I got a little bit left of that as well. So these two, let's see that one and partial of this one should work. Okay. Let's put this in the water. Back up to the matte medium. Maybe I can do both of these at the same time. All right, more baby wipes. Okay. Well, I didn't tear that edge. It really does make a difference when you go to blend paint 
you really want a torn edge, not a cut edge. And, you, and it's best to do it before you get it wet because it doesn't want to rip. There we go. <clears throat> Whoops, let's not tore that. Let's just overlap. All right. Let's go ahead and put this other piece in the water. Just a little assembly line kind of thing. <laughs> Get me out some more matte medium in a minute. Okay, I'm going to fold that a little right there. Kind of have to make a little bit of a dart, a wrinkle. So that it all lays flat. All right, let's take a baby wipe. Some excess. All right, let's throw this away. Let me clean my hands off. You're going to do this, Rachel? <laughs> All right. Now, let's take a minute. And matte medium is very hard to get off your hands if you don't have a craft scrubby. You'll be using fingernail polish remover if you don't. So, All right. Now, let's dry a minute, and, and I'll check chat here. Hi, Beth. Uh, Kenna, sister, and her sister, Cheryl, me too. Hang on, I gotta get some more baby wipes. Gotta have constant supply going. Get some in the neck there. And you really want to start, you gotta be careful because if you roll it over onto your paper and it, it can start sticking to the paper there until you've varnished it and everything, you don't want it to, or dry. You don't want it to start peeling off, so you've got to kind of make sure everything's dry. Yeah, Kalora, it's the, um, well, it's not here in front of me, it's behind me. Into the woods. It's like an oversized calendar. All right, so now I'm going to stand it up and smooth that out of the way. I have this stuff just propping it up here. All right, so let's go ahead and keep drawing a little bit. This is all going to be painted. Hi, Judy. Anybody else on this? Now I'm going to need to pour out a little bit more matte medium and pick out some of these bits here for the top or the bottom. That's good. Let's see. Do I need anything else? I can just paint the rest, I think. All right. Let me pour out just a little bit more. I'll have to do the doors. And again, put a baggie over the top of your matte medium so you don't glue the lid shut. Okay. More baby wipes. All righty. So let's see. Let's just go ahead and some little bits here. 
just for filler on the top and the bottom. I don't even, I can just paint this, like paint trees and stuff, but you know, just if, if somebody else is doing this and want to see how you can fill in, just you know, take your little piece and just glue it in. Okay, let's turn. All right, don't leave this in the water too long because it'll dissolve. Let's see. Let's do a little piece there. Maybe a little bit there just to kind of fill in. And again, we're going to be painting over all this. All right. Don't really want it on the stem. All right. It actually may be enough. Okay. All right, let's put one more over here. Now let's put it over here. Don't want to cover up the stem. All right. That should be good. Need my more glue right there. There we go. All righty. That's dry. I think from the bottom, after I get everything glued on, the doors and everything, from the bottom of the pumpkin, I'm going to paint tree branches coming up. I have some of uh, the ones from the last three years are on my Instagram. Do you want to see the last three years of pumpkins? They're on my Instagram. Hi, Miss Vicky B. Miss Vicky B likes to do Halloween stuff too. Okay, so now let's see here. Let's move some of these. Okay, do I need to some of this cleaned up here? I'm gonna have to buy me another one of my um, wood mats here or wood papers, faux wood. I really like the way that looks. I need to go back to Hobby Lobby and get another one. Okay, so let's see more baby wipes. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna decide on doors here. How wet is it? I think, you know what? I think I'm going to get a fresh piece of um, parchment paper because this is going to be sticky and wet. Karen, Joycey, I know I'm missing people coming in. All right, so now we got our base. Now I have to decide on, let's lay it down here again. As long as it's not rolling, I'm just using all kinds of stuff to prop it up with. All right, so now what I want to do is decide on some doors. Now, if y'all know, I bought the, Colleen enabled us to buy these book of doors, and th these are the small ones, and these are the large ones. 
So I cut them all up. There's, I don't know, a hundred of them or something. I cut them all out. And just so you can kind of see how they would go, you can cut them so that they'll open. Okay. So for instance, I'm going to have to stand up and kind of decide here. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim. I'm going to trim this off. And decide, like if I open the door right here, you'll see that wood, right? Or do I want, I think I might want it over here where it's a little bit lighter on the inside. Because I'm going to put things on the inside, right? You probably won't see much of the inside, right? Because I'm going to, and I want, I don't want to glue these doors down. I want the doors to be able to stay open. So... I'm going to have to dart it again. See, because when I, even when I wet it, it's not going to want to lay flat. So you've got to kind of work with it. So for instance, you might want to cut some slits here and there just so that you can fold it a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get this wet. And let's go ahead and put some more matte medium. Okay. Just kind of fussy play with it. Okay, let me just pop it up over there. I don't want to glue the door shut, so let's open the door. It's got to be a little fussy here. This will overlap. I could have just cut it all in pieces too. Okay. So that the doors stay open. Take my time, go shh, shh, shh. Okay, so that needs a slit in it right there so it can overlap. Okay, now I'm just going to fussy with it for a minute. it doesn't fall apart this will help hard you know make the door a little more sturdy you could probably put another layer of something on there if you want but I think this is going to work we just got to take our time and dry it and you know like that okay all right let's dry Oh, wait, let me get a little excess off here. And again, we're going to paint. We're going to paint scenes and things in here. Okay. I've never tried to do something like this before on a pumpkin. Where you got, you know, a dimensional aspect like this, like a door. This don't want to glue it shut. We don't want to glue the door shut. I might have to reinforce this like with something after a while where the doors open and close because I kind of want them open. I want to kind of leave them open, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I'll just kind of fold them a little bit like this. They'll be a little wrinkly for now. Let's put a little more glue right there. I'll be fussy a little bit with this. Let's put a little more over here. 
because I want to tear because it's on a curve, right? These doors are on a curve. All right, let's leave. Let's just leave that for a minute. Get a sip of juice. <laughs> Interact with a band of pumpkin. Hi, Diane. Of oh, the amazing wonder of the stock of door books disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The door, the doors are from a uh, book, Mark, that maybe Colleen can tell you the name of it. Um, well, let's see if I have it handy. I don't know if I have it handy. Let's see. Um, oh, here we go. There are these on Amazon, Mark. Doorways and Openings, Katherine Anderson. She makes them for you to use in your personal art. And then Doors and Openings, number two. So they're on Amazon. Okay. And for whoever was asking, this is the calendar I'm using, Into the Woods. It's an extra wide calendar. Uh, it's 12 by 16. Let me see. 12, no, 12 by 18. 12 by 18 calendar. So, but you don't have to have one this wide, obviously. I, you know, cut it up. I mean, tore it in strips. Okay, yeah, Vicky J, I just showed it. Did you see it? Okay, so now uh, I'm going to dry it just a little more. I'd have to just kind of that one's got one. I'll have to just do a little slit in the door, otherwise, it's not going to close, okay? Because the you know the pumpkin's wider, okay? I just want it because I just kind of want to leave it like this kind of half open, half closed. But I want to put some other things in here maybe some little fairy stickers or uh, you know, some outer space. I don't know yet, I haven't decided what we're putting on the inside, <clears throat> so I think. If I put three of the big doors, three of the big doors, I got to keep drying that, guys. I got to dry it some more. I might have to do some more little slits and some more little gluing so that that stays down. that something a little bit more at the top here just a little fussy gluing <clears throat> all right let's try that again Okay, so let me stand up so you can kind of see where we're, see how the doors look like that. Okay, so I think I want three doors, like here and here and here. Three would be good. All right, so let's see. <clears throat> this one would be right on a tree trunk. Now, I haven't picked any more doors yet. This one's kind of good because it's those colors. All right, so I'm going to go with this one. Again, I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut the edges off here. And all right, slide it up for a minute, and then let's see how did I do the other? Oh, let's go right up the middle. I don't know if a pointy door was the best choice because that's going to be very weak at the point. Okay, something like that. Then I'm going to cut this. And I might have to do some more trimming. Probably right at these points right here. Right here. All right, that should do. All right, and then, all right, it's going to go right here. 
I need another. Okay, I'm actually going to probably have to cut this in half because it's going to want to fold over. So, okay. All right, let's go ahead and, and you won't be, I'll, I'll, I'm going to go do it standing up like this because it's easier for me and then I'll turn it sideways so you can see. All right, let's go ahead and get them wet. My, wa my water's ice cold now, but all right, just need them a little bit wet. All right, now let's see. Let me clean my scissors off here. All right. Okay, I'm not really able to look at chat while I'm concentrating on this, guys. Yeah, I think that was a good idea to cut the whole door in half. It's probably going to be easier. That way I can just leave one side open and work on one flap at a time like that. Okay. Sit it on top there. Ah, put it in the water. So I don't want to glue the door shut. Here. Not really looking at chat for a minute, guys. Some projects you can't really, you got to concentrate a little more. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Gotta be careful not to glue it, glue the doors either open or shut. But they want to, they want to tear right at the points there. So we'll have to reinforce that with another, maybe some tacky glue. After this uh, draw, after we dry this, we'll put some tacky glue on the, on the stress points to give it a little more sturdiness. So there's our doors there. All right, let's hit that with the heat gun. Okay, and as it sets up, this will get a little harder with the matte medium. I might put another coat of matte medium on the doors and put some tacky glue on the stress points of the doors. All right, so let me turn this so you can see that. Okay. Okay, so there's two. One more on this side. Let's see, right about here. Right about here. All right, I'm gonna look through my doors here. See what what I want. That one's kind of cool. It's got the brown and the green. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that. Cut it down. How are we doing in chat? Hi, Karen. Anybody else I'm missing? 
All right, so I'm going to maybe leave that. I'll have to cut the arch down, though, <clears throat> probably right there for a dart. Okay, there we go. Now let's cut it in the middle. All right, I'm just going to cut this in half like I did the other one. It'd be much easier. All right. Let's pin the door. go so we got our two okay all righty here we go let's put the last one on here okay I'm I'm I can tell where it's going to be a stress point. It's pulling. So we're going to cut that off, cut the bottom off. Well, we're going to have to cut it into four pieces. The stress point's very hard on this one. All right. There we go. I think I want to move that down, right there on that branch. That will be good. Okay. Put the floor down. Okay. You can tell when you lay it down that it, it's not going to lay. It's gonna, it wants to tear. So you have to kind of just cut it there. Okay, so I'll tilt it here in just a minute. Okay, so let's cut this off. Cut the bottom off. Cut this, give it a stress point. All right. I know people are probably talking to me, but I got can't really do that while I'm doing that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's kind of a little quiet. Let's not glue that shut there. Okay, let's put the top on. Yeah, it's a little crooked. That's okay. Let's put the bottom on. All right, hang on, tilt, tilt it so you can see it. Hang on, let me dry. Get in there, guys. <laughs> it looks cool, I think. We'll see in a minute. It's just kind of hard to film it. You know, it's hard to show it all while I'm doing it. Hi, Crystal. Anybody else on this? Janet, what are you going to do today? Are you going to work on Inktober, or what are you going to do on your show today? Hi, 
Hi, Julie. Okay. Let's see here. Let's move this to the side. Might put a couple small doors in between. <laughs> it looks really cool, guys. All right, now I can't completely lay it on it, so I'm going to have to kind of hold it up. All right, so there's this door. Okay, turn. This door. And I've got my hand in some matte medium down here somewhere. And then this door, which is a little crooked now, but we'll straighten it out. Okay. So now I'm thinking I want to put some of the couple, at least a couple of the small doors maybe in between. How's that looking? I think it looks cool. <laughs> Claude, I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't. It it wouldn't go. It's not the same vibe. My Inktober is not the same vibe as this. Yeah, no, it's not the same vibe. I mean, pictures of the movie monsters, photographs of them, but not an ink black and white ink drawing. Mm, not feel, not feeling that. <laughs> okay, but pictures of them. See, I still have to paint. I'm going to paint in. I'm going to paint trees all around. So that means that this has to be 100% dry before I can close the doors. Because I'm going to have to lay it on its side at some point. So the doors are going to have to be able to be closed. And that means this has to be 100% dry or I'll just glue the door shut, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, let's. i got room here for a small one. Let's see. These are too small. I want one more of this size here. I like that one. Maybe this one on the other side. Or no, no, I don't want gray. I want I want to keep it in the colors here. That one would probably show up. Now I like those two. I think I'm only going to have room for two. All right, let's try these two first. Okay. Put them up a little higher. That'll work. Okay, so I'm going to arch this here. Cut into the door here. This is littler. may not need as much. Um, this one may not need as much um, fiddling with, you know. Whoops, I almost cut that too far. I think that should lay down pretty well. Now, nah, I'm going to cut it in half like I did the others. It'll lay flatter if I do that. All right, let's just wet them down. Okay. Put these up a little higher because I'm going to put stuff inside the doors. I don't know what yet. I, like I said, I was thinking about some little fairy stickers or some little goblins or something. Oops, piece of trash. Let's open those little doors so we don't glue them shut. Maybe some hardware on them. You know, I got all kinds of like old jewelry and stuff like that. What about some hardware on here? Not necessarily on the doors because th this is paper. It wouldn't hold up to actual hardware on the doors. But like maybe something at the top, you know, up in here or some kind of a jewel. What do y'all think? Should we jewel it up? Should we jewel it up? No, I did a Star Wars one before, Sean. That was about two or three years ago. I did a Star Wars one already. So, yeah. Don't want Star Wars. If y'all want to see my old pumpkins, the last three, I think there's three years on there on Instagram. 
Um, all right, let's go ahead and dry that. <laughs> I'm liking it though. Then we'll put one up high on the other side. Should we jewel it down? Yeah, we'll be, oh, let's see, pumpkin dazzle. What would that be? Be puzzle. <laughs> Wasn't well, so somebody message or somebody left a comment? Someone left a comment on my um, YouTube channel, you know, YouTube comments. I think it was on the last video. And what was it they said? I was talking about puffy envelopes and they called them puffalopes. I think they call them puffalopes. <laughs> we need to think of a bejeweled pumpkin. Pedazzle. <laughs> um. Okay, I'll let that one sit for a minute as long as the doors don't fall off. Okay, so now we got this door right there. Let's see if I can show you here. Got a little door there. And again, we're going to paint and put stuff on the insides. All right, let's do one more door right up here. One of these. Okay, let's see. Let's cut a little bit of an arch like all the other ones have. Okay, then we'll cut it in half and then cut the slits for the doors. <clears throat> Get them wet. I think that'll be enough doors. That'll be five doors. <laughs> All right. Again, don't want to glue the door shut. Need a little stress point. That one. Missing a little piece of something going across the bottom. Let's find something to go across the bottom. Just no, no, not work. Here we go. One of these little. Just need a little bit to go across the bottom. I think the stress point took up the whole thing. Let's put that right on there. We go. Okay. But what? If a uh, the dazzle is moving, uh, I'm not. I don't understand what that is. <laughs> Sorry, Sean, I didn't get that. Um, let's see. What's my missing here? Okay. Let's try that. I wouldn't mind a couple watches too. Y'all know I like my um, element of time. So I think I'm going to put a couple watch. And one on the very bottom too, I think. All right, so let's see. Let's see my eye here itching. Okay, um, I'm going to have to clean this up again. All right, let's get some more baby wipes. 
<clears throat> All right, let's see. I got some uh, watches over here I pulled earlier. Don't want blue ones. Let's get rid of the blue ones. Oh, here we go. I want a half of one. Let's see how it's going to fit. Turn them down so the hands can come out. So there can be one there. Maybe I can get three in here. I put one there. Let's see. Anybody say anything? <laughs> Pump gems. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. I need to trim that down just a little more. Okay, let me stand up and see what I need one. One there. Hmm. I'll go that way with it. I'm going to swap this out. No, let's go there. There. One here. Each three. It has to be. It has to. just has to. Let's see. I'm going to have to pipe each one out of a. These are all blue. I don't want any blue ones. Let's see. Let's see that black paint out of the way. Let's see here. Let's flip through a magazine real quick. Oh, here's a small black one. That'll work. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Need some gauze cheesecloth. Um... You mean around the top? You mean for decorations, Eileen? I did buy some, you know. I did buy some. This will need to go right on that hump. All right, let's get this wet there. Hang on, Eileen. Then I got to paint the uh, stem. I'm going to paint the stem gold. face that away. There. And back in here. That's good. I need one on the bottom, a bigger one. Like on the on the bottom stem. On the pumpkin butt. <laughs> All right, let's dry this. Oh, that's a little much. Hang on. It'll take forever to dry that. Those little crevices. Okay. happy now to show if I get to it and, and so far my internet's holding up remember guys I told y'all earlier when I first started uh, we have intermittent intermittent you know inter, um, internet comes and goes <laughs> in the neighborhood they said a node got a weak node so over the weekend it was going in and out all weekend so so far we are holding up we're holding up with the uh, internet. Okay, so now I need one. Let's see, let me look through these here. I need one for the bottom. Let me look back in my magazine here. I want one on the bottom. You don't really see it, but I know I will know it's there. <clears throat> yeah, well, the bling comes after I finish painting everything, Karen. I'm not going to forget bling, but that comes at the end. <clears throat> Let's see here. I kind of want a little fancier one. That one's too big. Um, that one might be too small. I have to turn the pumpkin over to see. 
I just want one on the very bottom. Okay, well, let's see if I can lay this down in some place where it's not a door. Right about there. So I can find something to prop it up with. There we go. Okay, I just want to be able to put one on the very, very bottom. And this should be the last thing I have to glue right, right now. like I'm giving him an exam. <laughs> a pumpkin prob probing probing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can dry this now. <laughs> Try to get as dry as I can now. <laughs> A pumpkinoscopy. <laughs> I gotta write that down, Karen. A pumpkinoscopy. <laughs> Where's a pen? <laughs> A pump. What's it? How did you spell it? Pumpco. Pumpka os. <laughs> Ostomy. <laughs> it's going in the wingnut book, Karen Griffin. <laughs> in the wing. I got to get my wingnut. <laughs> get the wingnut book out. <laughs> When anybody says anything quippy or cute or quotey like that, it goes in the wing up. <laughs> no particular order. It just gets slammed in there. <laughs> uh, good one. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and, and my hands are full of um, matte medium, so I'll have to get the uh, craft scrubby on it. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's needs a little more drying. I don't want to do all this work and have it start peeling off if it sticks to something, you know. Hopefully, I don't know. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me get a piece of wax paper there because I don't want it to stick. Because this is wet and sticky too. So we don't want him to stick to anything. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to move all this. All right. If I glue anything else in here, it's going to be little. And I probably won't need to wet it. The only reason I really need to wet the uh, magazine, I mean, the calendar images, because they're big and they're on the pumpkin and I need to mold them. If I add any other little things to glue down, I'm not going to need to wet it. So I'm going to get rid of this water off my desk. So one moment. trash cans full um i had thought about you know some little um what do you call it let's move some of these let's move some of this stuff out of my way these doors watches let's move all this off my table so i have a little more room 
Okay. And if y'all missed it, let me slide this. If y'all missed it, I did buy the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, because, you know, we're doing our Poe. All right. Uh-oh. There's some stuff over here. Maybe I should. Oh, that's, uh, that's my Happy Meal. Let me get to that, too, if I can. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to need any space pictures. I did pull space pictures. Um, all right, let me think a minute. Let me think where my stickers of um, like little fairies and stickers would be. Which bin? Which bin of my stickers? Skeletons. In the door. Um, skeletons would be good. I don't know if I have any. I think I have a skeleton stamp. I could stamp skeletons and cut them out. Okay, bye, Crystal. You know, all right, let me put this away because this is going to harden. So let me drop that in the water. Um, pick up some of this stuff. I could stamp some skeletons. What do y'all think? Y'all want me to stamp some? Um, <laughs> yeah, I have some skeletons going. Do you have any skeletons cut out from your silhouette? Um, no, I gave them all away. But hi, Kate the Skate. I gave all those skeletons away. I mean, I, I don't have the time to bring out my silhouette, set it up. I, I can't do that now. I mean, if I would have thought of it before, uh, yeah, before this morning, I could have <clears throat> cut some out. But I don't think I have any here. Let me look. Let's just make sure. Uh, hang on. i got to go onto the shelf here, see if I have them in a the folder. A the folder of stuff. Mm. Let's see. Hang on, guys. I'm looking. I know where they would be. They're either in this binder or under here which I have to get move these papers Let's see. And I got some other stencils under here I didn't know I had okay all right let's see if I got some let's move this over Okay, so I got some stencils here. Let's move those off the top. Um, so they're either going to be in here. See, look, these are butterflies, leaves, feathers, birds, shapes. No skellies there. But um, if y'all don't know what Kate's talking about, my cameo cut um, silhouette cut, you know, cuts. I have skele I have a skeleton um, uh, file, if you will. Okay, it's not right here. These are I think these are all my larger ones. Let me see. There's oh I know what these are. These are the ones I'm keeping as stencils, like the negative space. So these are the negative space ones here on top. So let's move that. All right, here's the world. We've cut out the world, some arches. Here's a day of the dead skull. Sorry guys, I'm not half under camera because I have my camera raised up an extra six inches. Now let's move this so that it would fit, so that the pumpkin would fit. All right, let's see. Oh, all right, so look, here's the skeleton. This is the negative space. Oh, you could probably see it better if it's on black paper. See, look. See, I have bones. All these little bones and stuff would be awesome. But I don't know if I have any cut out. I'm going to look in my binder in a minute. There's Dracula. There's the black cat. These are the negative spaces for the most part. There's a Day of the Dead Skulls, a different Day of the Dead Skull. Here's a... Uh, spider web over the doorway yeah i could paint well I'll i'm gonna paint trees too i'm gonna paint on here in a minute oh look i found one guys 
We have one. We have a skelly. <laughs> okay, we got a skelly. Let's see what else we got. Do I have another one? See, I wish I had. Well, I wouldn't have. I see. I wouldn't have printed out. I mean, I wouldn't have cut one out in black. I would have only cut the bones out in white. So, I think this one's one of Jean's design. Jean, isn't this hand one year design? That was cool. Oh, look, look, guys, we have spider webs. <gasps> we got spider webs. We're gonna use those. <laughs> Uh, cheesecloth as spider web. Yeah. Mm, we'll see. Okay, so I got one of these guys still. He's kind of big. See, if I was going to put, if I want to put him on the pumpkin, it needs to be a little smaller. That doesn't even show up. So I got a lot of those guys cut out. Oh, here's another one. Well, that's one spiders. See, oh, here's a little haunted house one. We cut all these out last year. But if I put it, it doesn't show up. The black isn't showing up on that. Pumpkin's pretty dark, guys. So I got a bunch of those, guys. I don't think I want to use them because it's not showing up. Let's put those back on the pile. Well, see, I separate things with pieces of paper. See, look at this one. Here's the... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know I can paint them, yeah. Oh, here's, uh, here's my mummy. Here's the big mummy. Let's get it on the piece of black paper so you can see there's the mommy and again you can cut these out in any size you want i could cut that down like that big you know so could have them on there i'll show you what i'm talking about though i'll, I'll put them on the pumpkin so you can see what i'm talking about all right then here's my mats so i've got three mats here all right, let's put those over here. See what else we have here. Here's one of Cameron had to do a Hanukkah project one day. That's from all that. Here's uh, the days of the week. They're all right there. See, I, I try to separate them by papers so they don't get all tangled up because it's so easy to tangle them up. Another spider web, a purple one. Some purple on here would be good, guys. There's some gates. I'll pull those. I don't know. They might be too big. Here's a little bit of a um, crow. You know, there's part of a crow. It's another spider web. Okay, there's a big haunted house. <clears throat> I haven't gone through this in a while. Big roses and butterflies. Here's another world. This is one of my favorites. I love the world because it's just so delicate. <laughs> Look at the delicate cuts you can get on the cameo. Bye, Cam. And then here's some different shapes. Um, here's some. Uh, oh, these are. This is the state of Georgia, in in a shape. Another one. Here's another world. A giant, uh, giant typewriter. <laughs> so these are getting into this the negative space here. That I kept for stencils. I think that's all. There's another world. Some frogs. Oh, that's a deer. And see, I have papers in between them. Look. Oh, here. This will be good for Thanksgiving. Our turkey. Part one and part two. It's a turkey. <laughs> Uh, th when I do, uh, that's usually when I do a face to face. I'll set up my, uh, I'll set up my cameo and do a face to face while I'm doing this stuff. Oh, look, that might work. A little bit of a little house there. Let's see. Maybe there's more in here than I think. I thought these were all negative space left, you know, cut leftovers. The leftovers, feathers. I mean, I got hundreds of these things. These are all the negative space, I think. I mean, there might be one just sitting in there somewhere. But there's oh yeah, look, see, I need some I need some crows. That would be good. I don't know if I have any in the binder. There's more bones. Uh, see, these are there's the cat. So I have the cat and the crows and the bats. I might have to add these later if I have to cut them out later.
going to do a face to face with you guys and spend some time cutting some stuff out. I usually give it away when I do. All right, let's keep that on here. All right, now let me look in the binder real quick. This is just on a box here. All right, let me move this. I can barely turn my chair. So this is an old Tuesday morning or Technique Tuesday, I mean, not Tuesday morning. Technique Tuesday binder for stamps. Um, and I use it for, look, a crow. Okay, we've got a crow. Oh, his head's not all there. Do we have a crow with his whole head? Oop, gears flying. Oh, we'll see. So, and I kept, I started, I was real good at first. <laughs> keeping them all separated. Keeping everything separated in these little uh, sleeves. So they didn't get messed up. And you can see how long that lasted. <laughs> oh, but yeah, okay, there's a bird. Let's see. It's trying to look for any crows or that's just a bird. See, I've taken them all out and used them, so I'm, I'm not really using this binder anymore because I've used them out of the binder and I haven't replenished the binder. Oh, wait, here's a pumpkin. Eileen sent me those, these skates. Then I have all kinds of, um, what do you call it, embossed, embossing folder, you know, um, what do you call it? Embossed papers so I don't know I'm gonna keep digging through here a minute there's a mummy head there's a mummy some fox and then I got angel wings butterflies yeah this is making me want to get my uh, cameo back out coffee cups coffee mugs birds coffee pots so little coffee cups, um, little robot heads. Um, let's see what else in between. I have pieces of paper in between. More coffee cups, different coffee cups, um, inked butterfly. I'm just looking for the Halloween stuff, guys. Some deer cards. Some more little houses here. They're very delicate, though, and they get tangled so easy. They really get tangled easy. Oh, look at this one. I'm going to put that in the actual Poe book for now. Oh, look, here's some crows. These are cut out of, um, what do you call it? scrapbook papers they're a little big though so i don't want them this big there's a little fairy she might be no it's too big see these things are too most of these are cutouts are too big um i know it's probably boring as heck watching me go through this don't email me let's see Here's another bird. Words. Mushrooms. Leaves. Doilies. I mean, I literally have, I don't know, seven or eight hundred cut files. I haven't bought anything recently because I'm not using the ones I got. All right, so let's put this aside. Let's see what we pull. All right. See if we can use up oh, I'm dropping I'm dropping bones. Bones are coming down here. Some gates, spider webs. All right. I think first, before I glue any of this stuff on, I might want to do I might want to draw paint the trees. Paint the paint the pumpkin itself. <clears throat> 
you know? All right, let me look at chat for a minute. I know, right? Lots of ideas. White spider web would look cool around the stump. Never put more on the pumpkin. Put put never oh, put never more on the pumpkin. Oh, I could do that. Oh, okay. Thanks, Christine. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's look at them again. So again, here's the little doors. Let's go this way. Saying so, I want to put stuff in them. Um, all right, so let's see. I think it's dry enough that I can close the doors. Now, they're still going to be a little wrinkly and a little not, they're not going to close 100% like they did, you know, flat. I have to be able to close them, though, to lay the pumpkin down, to paint on the bottom and stuff. And I might, you know, put another coat of matte medium on the doors later just to make them a little more sturdy. Um... I just have to be kind of careful with it. All right, so let's see. Um, I think I'll just get some dark brown and just start with a base coat. Let's put some dark brown in here, that black. Just base coat some trees in here, or maybe even just some go. Yeah, you know, that's too light. Let's go, let's go with uh, espresso here. And then I'll highlight them with some gold or something. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I'm thinking. I was thinking of having some creatures peek out. You know, like I have some fairies and gnomes and those kind of stickers. But I'm trying to imagine where they are. I mean, the only stickers I pulled lately were the ones that I put on. Uh, what did I do with them? That I put on all my Happy Mail Thank You Poe things. Um. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, you know what? Hey, wait. Here's some stuff. This is some stuff from Teresa. Okay, we're going to use some of this. Teresa, in her Happy Mail, last week or the week before, sent me some stamp stuff and a few cutouts. Oh, look, she sent me some crows. Okay, look. So, so Teresa, I don't know if she's still here. She was here earlier. Sent me some different little, um, look, here's a little piece of bats. We're going to use some of this stuff Teresa sent. There she is. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use some of your stuff. So she sent all kinds of, look, here's a little cat. Wait a minute. The little tails. Their little tails are hooked up here. She sent some cats. Come on, come apart there. <laughs> I don't want to come apart. There we go. So some little cats, bat and birds, crows, a little candelabra. So some of this I can use in the Poe book. But look, she has some stamped images. I'm thinking some of these stamped images. Now, some of this is on hard stock. I can't use that. It's too thick. That can just go in my Poe book. Um, but she does have some tissue crows here. I think we might be able to just... Is this stays on, Teresa? Can I get this wet? Is this stays on so I can just matte medium it? Yeah, she has some cool stamp images, but it's on heavy cardstock. And I can't do that. Oh, look. Look. A little Poe picture. Some of that we could use. The rest is on heavy cardstock. Archival, yes. Okay, so we can do that. Okay, so let's do that too. All right, so um, I see some of this I wanted to use in the Poe book, but I think mm -hmm, that's going to be too big anyway. All right, let's try these. Um, now I got to get my matte meat. I got to get my matte medium back out. Okay, let's wait on the insides because I'm going to put these on the inside. Like, let's see here. Mm. Let's see what I'm talking about. Like this. See, like the skeleton head in there. 
Maybe I can do one. I just put I just got I just put it all away. <laughs> Let's just get a little bit more out. Oh, there's a bone. Because all this other stuff, all this um all my cardstock, I can glue this stuff on with just glue. But this you have to have matte medium because you want it cool, you know, you want it, it's tissue paper. So let's see. Maybe a couple of the birds inside the doors. Got these cats and stuff. Let's put all this over here. Um, there's some more birds and let's see what we can do here. Okay. <clears throat> so if I use this. Oh, I get bigger scissors. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. All right. She has a heart, too. I don't think I'm going to put that in there. That would that would be good in maybe the Poe book. All right. Let's put that over here. I try to keep all this it's all flying around with the fan. All right. Let's see. Let's do a, maybe this crow here. I like these crows just kind of flying around. But the thing, if I'm going to put anything on the outside, it has to be after I paint the tree. Okay, I can put them on the inside, though. If I put these on the outside, we'll have to wait. All right, do I have enough right here? I don't think I do. Let me get an old brush that I just happen to have right here. Let's see. Just something little, an old one. Do I have an old one? That's not old enough. I only use, I use old brushes for glue books. I mean, glue uh, things. All right, so let's see here. All right, so let's. I don't know if I can lay this down. Let's see. Let's see what we can see. Okay, here we go. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. I have to get might have to pour some more out. And I can always paint around, too, if any of the white's still showing. Add a little bit of green paint. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. And again, I'll, I'll paint right along those edges. Okay. There. We got something in one door. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let me... Um, I'll dry in a minute. Let's put this crow in one of the doors. You could put him on a tree. Now, see, he won't show up on the. That one's too dark. Won't show up. All right, he'll show up in this one. All right, let's try to trim him down as much as I can. And we had roast yesterday. So I need to go put the crock, put the, I'll take the inside of the crock pot out of the refrigerator, put it back in the crock pot at 1130. So Hubster has lunch. <laughs> okay. So I cut them out. Oh, see, I didn't put enough glue on that one. I'm going to use up the rest of this right here. Come back here, little raven, little crow. Can y'all see that? Yeah, it's working out good, Teresa. All right, let's see. Now I got to do the tree before I can glue any spider webs or anything on. All right, let's dry this real quick here. Let's 
See, and I also have this. I have the, maybe we'll just glue some on around. Just, you know, random things. All right, let's see. Like, you know, um, like a cat right here. You know, after I, after I paint the trees, then we can go back in and add these other random things. And I can just glue these. They don't have to be matte medium, Dawn. Uh, okay, so I got that. And the spider webs. You know, I got it, I have it purple too. Some purple in here. Maybe I'll do the tree purple. Should I do a purple tree? I'm thinking I might. Purple tree. If I don't like it, I'll paint over it. I got another purple. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got a question. Where does your creativity come from? For me, it was your graph. Um, I have creative ants that I never met. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've I've always loved to do art. You know, just always loved it. So because I loved it, and this is, again, here's my theory on um, talent. <laughs> I believe everybody's born with a love of something. Writing, drawing, painting, uh, programming. Everybody's born with a love of something. Music, a musical instrument. But what, what you do with it. Now, again, and I always say there's always exceptions. There's sometimes there's kids that come out of the womb at two years old and play, you know, Beethoven or whatever, you know. But for the most part, I think that you, <clears throat> when you're born with the love of something, which I believe that's a gift from God, that you're born with the love of something. But what you do with that love is up to you or circumstances or means or, you know, whatever. You know, your situation in life, you know, not everybody has the same opportunities as everybody else. But what you do with your love of whatever your gift is, then, you know, you just develop it. Uh, if you poke the hole that has uh, some of the copper metallic paper behind it, it will come through. Yeah. Um, yeah, it might. Uh, it might, Eileen. But there's not, you know, it'd have to be, you know, this big. I don't know about a cat, you know, the cat's eye. It's not, they're not very, you know, it's not very big, you know. I could just, I might as well just put a couple of white Posca dots. <laughs> okay, so let's see now. Um, let's move this to the side. And let's see. Um, what brush do I need? A, kind of a brush that's kind of pointy. Let's see. Let's go with this one. Get it wet. Of course, my water is very dirty. All right, so let's paint some purple trees. So the thing about this now, so I'm gonna have to be, I'm gonna have to be extra careful that I not normally have to be this careful when I turn it upside down, right side up, and whatever. All right. So I put the. Uh, well, you know what? Before I paint the tree, I really need to do some. Okay, wait a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm trying to get to the jewels and the whatnot, and, and I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just wait a minute. Let's do, I got some brown. I need some orange and some sienna. I have to paint this. I, ha I have to paint this in. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I got brown, orange. I need a little bit of yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. There we go. Oh. Hmm. I'm looking for a specific yellow ochre, and I can't find it. Am I out of it? There's my gold, but I still have to do the um, what do you call it? The stem. Um, hmm. All right, let's go with cool this. I don't know. What, oh, here's. It's a little bit of 
brighter orange. Okay, the lids. So that color and some greens. A little bit of kind of a moss green, maybe a little bit of citron green. That should be enough. I got my black right there. So those colors should be enough. Okay, let's look at them. Um, I, I, some rolled right off. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. It, the chat goes faster than I can keep up with when I'm trying to do this. Okay, <clears throat> so let's wait on the, let's wait on the uh, tree for a minute. Here's for the stem. And I'm going to need some more baby wipes. Another brush, small brush, small flat or angle brush. That's too big, one smaller. Where's my small angle brushes? I'm digging through my brushes over here, guys. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Yeah, I got happy mail from you and Colleen. We'll see if we get to it today. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So what I want to do is, is just kind of paint where I see it. Look, for instance, here. Okay. So for instance, so I'll just get some brown and orange and see, I'm just going to paint in the paper. And this is just like I do on other collages, too. I don't know if there's too much of a glare there. And then maybe a little bit of the green, greens over in here. So I'm just kind of laying it a little bit down with my brush, but I'm doing most of the blending with my finger. Okay, I need a little bit of black with that green. So all I'm really doing is blending in all the collage. Can y'all see? I hope. I hope I'm not messing my doors up on the other side. So I'm going to pick some up with my finger there. A little bit of black. So I'm just blending. I'm going to start the bottom, dry it, and then I can stand it up. I can stand it up to um, spin it after that. You'll see how it's blending it all together. And I'm just using all the different colors. So it all it becomes cohesive. I might put some mist through the doors, you know, uh, coming out the door and throughout the, you know, throughout the the pumpkin, see there's a place where it needs to be glued down with some tacky glue or something. Because, you know, it's going to, as it dries, it can pull away in some places that you really didn't take the time to mash down well. <clears throat> All right, so... A little more black right there. I'll turn it over here so you can see the bottom in just a minute. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to hold it up so you can see it. It's a little flashed out. Again, I'm six inches higher on my camera than I normally am so that I could get the whole pumpkin under here. All right, so now let's dry this.
And see, then I'll paint my purple tree on top of all this. All right, now I need, where's that piece of wax paper? The wax paper so it doesn't stick. All right, and careful with my doors. I'm going to reinforce the doors with some extra matte medium and stuff afterward. So I'm just trying to keep them kind of closed now just so, because everything's dry. So I can close the doors without them. Um, this one needs a little more work. Without them, uh, you know, knocking them off, right? All right, so here we go. Let's start like right here. Okay, so now I'm going to get in here and start fiddling, if you will. I almost just rather do it with my fingers. And just leave a hint, like a little bit of moss on the bricks here. I don't know if y'all can see this. And see like this tree, I can paint some of the tree coming over. But right now I'm just trying to get everything, see right here where that paper is? I just want everything to be blended. And then I'll go over this with tree branches. Then on top of the tree branches, we can add spider webs. And and then on top of the spider webs, now we can add the jewels. So you gotta just do it in layers. Okay, I need some more orange up here. Okay, I'm gonna stand up here. A little bit of green down on the, on the doors there to make it look, and this is way too um, white. So let's see, let's just pick up a little of that color. Knock it back. Same for that one. So I just got to work my way around the whole pumpkin. Any place there's torn white paper, especially, you want to get rid of. But then, like, maybe some moss. A little bit more, maybe a little bit more orange up in there. Maybe a little more of that yellow color in there. I'm not really looking at chat, guys. I'm trying to get crack a lack in here. So can you see how we're starting to blend it in? Okay, so we're like right here, this needs to have a little bit, this will have some trees and stuff coming over it. I want purple trees though too, so this may not just be the only one there, but just see how you can kind of go with whatever collage you got there. All right, let's put a little more green, a little bit more black right in there. And because it's covered with matte medium, you can wipe it away real easily because there's matte medium over everything, right? A little bit of that color right in there. A tiny bit of black. Oh, that little purple bit in there looked good. I'm going to get some more purple in here at one of the tree especially. Okay, let's get in here. And you can fussy paint things in too. But, and that's the kind of details I like to do is the, the mist and the, you know, the fun little things. But it's usually things we don't have much time for because all the other stuff takes time to get done. Hopefully you're seeing some of this. Okay. Thanks, Jean. Okay, let's do a little bit of black. And you can... Just baby wipe it, fussy paint in. Let's do a little more green up in here. And again, I'm gonna have vines and 
whatnot in here. I'm just trying to make everything look cohesive together and still not knock any of my doors off. <laughs> you know, not knock any of my doors off. See, look at all the, see here, all the paper. We got to get rid of all that. It's a little more orange in here, I think. Wipe some back. Get a little black. Okay, and more greeny moss stuff on the doors. I said, I hope it's not too flashed out. I'm trying to, maybe that light needs to go up a little. Trying to be extra careful where I put my hands so that I'm not going to mess up the doors. Okay, I think I've gone all the way around, so let's kind of show you so far. This door looks a little too bright. Let's add a little bit of something, something here just to knock it back. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and hit this with a heat gun just for a minute. And when I varnish it, guys, it always looks so good. Okay, I see a spot down here I missed. I didn't get down in here. Let's get a little bit more brighter yellow kind of color down in, it, in this area of the woods. Almost could put a little purple hint in there. Let's put a little purple tint in there. This could probably use another little color of some sort. Purple to that. All right, now let's go back to drying again. Now let's make a mess. I think I said I had Tanya, Joyce. Zoe, I'm just looking over there. I know I'm not talking much today, guys. I'm trying to get this crackle lack and pumpkin done. All right, so let's just take a quick minute to clean this brush. My water is black. I've got to clean my water. Okay, let's see. I want the stem to be gold. Let's drag it out just a little further. Okay, it's 11.15, I gotta watch the clock. Let 
Let me shake it up and get some more on the lid. I'm just working out of the lid. Now you like it? <laughs> it's, I'm telling you guys, I know it's kind of hit or miss and piece by piece as we're doing it. But once it's done, it all it always looks good. But it just takes time, you know. I, and I do kind of rush through um, to get it done on camera. I might add a little bit of uh, green to that too. Okay, so let's try that. As long as I don't touch it, it should be okay. All right, now, now the tree. I think we can get to the tree. Let's put this back on the plastic there. All right, let's see. All right, let's try to do some of the tree. Um, oh, thank you, and uh, Andrea, Judy. I'm, I'm. No, I'm missing people. Thanks everybody for being here. All right, so now. I want to start at the bottom. I've got to be careful of these doors. Okay. And I want to do a purple. Let's start. Let's see. Purple and black. Maybe it's mostly purple. So what I want to do is I want. I want tree. Branches. All right, let's see if I can, I'm going to zoom in. I'm not going to lower my camera. I'll just zoom. Let's see if I can just zoom in here. Okay, so you can see me do some painting now that we got the bulk of the big stuff done. And I'll go back with some smaller, a smaller brush and get some little tinier branches in here. I'm going to go ahead and get some large branches in here first. Let's just get some large ones in. And I'll go back. I'll go back with the smaller brush and get tiny little branches. See, all this stuff is a little stuff that I like to do. But you got to do it in layers, you know? And I'm going to have to stop and dry as I turn because my hand's going to be in the paint if I don't. All right, I got to dry. <clears throat> oh, too thick. They can put the spider webs and the bird, I mean, the bats and you know, all that, but you got to have, you got to just build it up layer by layer. Thank you, BDI Beth. 
It's a little tricky doing a pumpkin on a stream. And see, I'm also sitting the wet paint down here on the bottom. That's why I got the wax paper. All right, let's just keep turning here. Let's, see, let's go this, go this way. Too thick. And I thought about putting gold highlights on the tree. Sorry, guys, I got off camera. I forgot I'm zoomed in. Oops, a little blobby there. Let's roll some of that off. Ah, well, thank you, Pacola. All right, dry time. Mm. Yeah, I gotta go put the crock pot in. Hang on, guys. The hubster's gonna come home for lunch and not have anything to eat. Hang on, be right back. Forgot to show you guys what I bought at the grocery store. <laughs> pea puffs, people. Pea puffs. <laughs> well, let me look at chat for a minute and eat a couple of pea puffs. <laughs> didn't care for them. <laughs> Pea puffs and paint. Yum. <laughs> mm. 
the elusive pee puffs. I had to sign a waiver with Joe. He was back in the corner. I signed a waiver with Joe and he gave me a bag of them. <laughs> That's what they look like. There's different um there's different varieties. These are the original. I think there's a light there's this one's lightly salted. They have different kinds. <laughs> you like the white cheddar ones? Yeah. <laughs> They're packed with protein? Really? No, they do have 10% is protein. I guess that's quite a bit for a snack. <laughs> that and my cranberry juice. Ah. All right. Let's see. That door, that door's not doing so well. Just oh. I'm going to have to work. I'm going to have to work on these doors. <laughs> I've never put doors on my pumpkins. <laughs> I'd never heard of them either. And neither had my mom. But Boo loved them. And Denise, then that's when the joke started. About you have to go find Joe in the back corner of the grocery store. You know, and I think Kate the Skate got to sign a waiver. <laughs> We've been calling them the elusive pea puffs. All right. A couple of pea puffs and I'm good. All right. D sip of juice. <laughs> All righty. Let me get some fresh baby wipes. All right. So now let's see. I've got that. Let's keep working around with the tree here. Mm. All right, let's see. So I have it growing up out of the bottom. Make sure and stay in camera. So um, I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for Inktober today. Uh, have any, has anybody been watching my Inktobers? Or in, not just mine, but anybody in general? Um, oops, sorry guys. I'm so zoomed in now. I did, a, uh, I did Elvira yesterday. I'm, just, I'm trying to get the large branches in here now. Just the large ones. I'll go back with some tinier ones. Okay, some of that paint starting to crust up on the brush. But yeah, this is day, is today day seven, I think. Get a nice big branch down there at the bottom, or trunk, I should say. And pour out some more paint. Am I still on camera? Yeah. Okay. Just get the main branches here. And I'll go back with the finer brush. One more big one here. Okay. All right, let me dry this. Welcome, Loretta. 
Thanks, Tony. I know. So, so much. If you follow on Instagram, I think there, last I look, I think it's over 500,000 entries on Instagram under hashtagging Tober 2019. I really want to make sure the bottom's dry because I don't want it to stick. I mean, I got the wax paper down there, but until I varnish it, you, you know, it's easy to mess it up. All right, so there we go. We got to start. Let's see what we got up here. I need some more branches up here at the top. I need some more purple paint. Let's see if I can get anything else out of this jar here. Okay. Okay, got some main branches. All right, let me get a little smaller brush now. Drop that one in water. Get a thinner, not quite a liner, but Longer and thinner. That one might work. All right, let's a little bit of water in here just to thin down the paint. Just a little. It's been sitting here. And, uh, get a little crusty bits. Um, I'm going to go. Okay, bye, Joe Beth. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. All right, so let's see here, guys. Let's start up here at the top, I think, and do some little branches. So you have to have this stuff done on the background before you put anything on top of it. You know, like mist or bats or you know whatever else we're going to put on here let's have some kind of creeping creeping down here Top of the door. See? <clears throat> oh, thanks, Holly D. Yeah, I thought the purple would stand out. And then, of course, I still have all these other, you know, I've got the purple spider web here. I don't know. It might be too much, too thick. I might have to go with uh, like I got this little black one here you know And then I wanted to put some jewels, you know, maybe some uh, bling. Let's get some of these going up into the stem there. So you can have it like growing up. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, um, Gigi. Thank you, Gigi, for the super chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay, so see how it's going up into the stem there a little bit? See, all these little details, this is the stuff, this is my favorite part to do. But, you know, <laughs> we usually get to it because there's not enough time.
just kind of creeping all right all around the top there Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Pacola, for putting info in there for me. I'm kind of trying, I'm saying I'm kind of trying to hurry, but. It does take, you know, take some time. And I really want to add some gold accents. I won't do that. Well, it depends on what I want to layer on top. You just, you can't, you can't, you know, once you start putting any, especially any kind of three-dimensional anything on it, you can't really go back and paint around it. You really just need to do it in, in steps. I gotta dry this so I can turn it. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I can do. I don't know. I don't want quite as many branches everywhere, but I still need some more. So just gotta bear with me here. Bear with me. I'm not messing up my doors too badly. So I want to put some things on the inside. You know, we got a couple of things. We got that skeleton head in one door and we have the raven in one of the doors
All right, let's try that. <laughs> it's getting a lot. It takes a while. It just takes a while, guys. I think some gold around the edges of the doors would be nice. Let's turn it one more turn. I need to fix that little um, transom window up there. really want some nice thin ones here and there. I'll, I don't know. I was going to say I'll have to go back and do that, but I don't think I can go back after I get the next step in here. Let's see. All, right. All right. Let's see. Let's dry that. I'll do a turn for you guys here in a minute. Let's see if I can let y'all have a look. See, okay. So, for instance, like here. So, on the inside here, we got this guy. So, real quick, see, I'm, I gotta fix these doors. I'm gonna have to put some extra support to them, or something, or some extra glue, or extra matte medium. All right. So now. Mix up my paint's drying up. Where's my water bottle? There you go. Oh. Anything going on in chat? We good? <laughs> I'm not able to really watch much chat, guys, because this really is like, you know, a, it needs my attention, you know? More so than, you know, some projects. So I'm just kind of melding the, that tissue paper. Thank you for the little things too, Teresa. Like I said, I was planning on using most of it in my uh, um, Poe book. All right, so now... I want to fix that gap right there. Got to water that down. just so you can't see a gap. Well, I want I don't want to put washi tape on it cuz then you'll you won't I don't want that pattern. If I use any kind of tape, it's going to be some kind of clear tape or something. Um, I don't want any patterns on the door. All right, so let's see. Here am I going here with a little bit of And then after this and after lunch, I got to work on Inktober. I'm thinking about going back up to Denise's tomorrow. So then when I come home tomorrow night, I'll have to do Inktober. <laughs> I was at Denise's this weekend. 
had to come home and do an Inktober. Then yesterday I did uh, Elvira. Um, I'm not sure what mon monster I'm going to do today. And, I, you know, she was a monster movie hostess. She wasn't really a monster, but she's supposed to be like a vampire. So I did her. It's going to kind of darken up the, make him blend in a little. And then I've got a, some, I, I was hoping to do, um, well, I might still, an Abandoned Places on Wednesday, but I've got to work on my Poe book, too. You know, I've got it all printed out now. Okay, I think that's good. Let's get a little bit of purple branches in here. So I wanted my pump get my pumpkin done because I usually wait till I'm closer to Halloween. And then everybody goes, why don't you should do it earlier <laughs> so you can enjoy it a little longer? And that's true. Enjoy the um, pumpkin a little longer than just like a week, you know. How's that looking, guys? All right, let's see. I have my list. I have uh, I have 45, I think, monsters to choose from. So it's not like I'm, I, I, I have, I have them all picked out. I just don't know which one I want to do today. <clears throat> you see, I want some mist in here. You don't know how much we're going to have time to get done. All right. So something like that, say, and I'll, you know, put another layer of matte medium and some gloss varnish probably on the doors to make them stiffer. But we've got some, uh, you know, we've got some uh, branches coming in here. Oh, that one very thick. And I also have these bones. Remember, I got these bones. Oh, don't clean my brush. My cameo bone, silhouette bones. Got these little bats from Teresa, I think. They're little, they're little uh, dimensional bats. See, like, let's see. Well, I can't really put that on there because I can't varnish over that. Well, I guess I could. <laughs> I guess I could varnish over it. We'll see what happens. I'm going to cut one off here. Let me see. I got my uh, tacky glue. Because I'm going to put my varnish. <laughs> I'm going to gloss varnish the whole thing. You know, mm. all right, let's see what else. Is that going to stay down for me? Come on, glue down. All right, so I have also these spider webs, and I have the black cats. Got the black cats, and I have another, I have a crow or a raven. I got two of those. So I got some of these. But I got, see, I'm not, the bones, I'd have to, I don't know, they're, I don't like them because they're too white. You know, see, like, I mean, I'd have to, like, what color, Eileen? See, like that sticking out of the door. That would be kind of cool. But I don't want it white like that's too, it's too stark. I'm going to have to color the bones. Should I do them green, maybe? All right. It's not, it's wanting to roll. Got to find something to put back here. There we go. Gray. 
what about like just this mossy green color? I mean, I'm just going to, I just mean, I don't mean like solid green. I just mean like not white, you know, I got a couple of gray. Y'all said gray. A little bit of the citron. Citron might be good. Okay, citron, but then I need it needs a touch. It needs a touch of dark green in there. You know, just kind of like like that. Let me dry it. I want to get to some jewelry and bling and So what I'm thinking is, and the, the glue dries clear. So if it, if it shows, if the glue, you know, shows after I put this on, it'll dry clear. It's like that, like a little hand sticking out. <laughs> the doors closed. Look, <laughs> see? <laughs> all right let's go to another door let's see here we got this one up here okay right now see i just don't have anything in there yet like i need to paint it out i could put a moon in one let's do that because this one's kind of at the top so let's just get the, I'm going to just paint this all in black and put some stars and a moon in this one. Because y'all know I like me some space. So let's do that one. Okay. Let's dry it. Like it? I don't know. We're making it up as we go. Well, I want to show y'all's happy mail, uh, Beth and Colleen. So get just a minute. Let's see. All right. Um. So I could probably start with the Posca. Okay. See, I want to put some mist and stuff. See the color pencils going on this because this is uh, acrylic paint. Something like this on the inside. A little black on my finger here. Something like that on the inside of that one. Does anyone have problems with their white turning gray after painting? 
Uh, with what product, Beth? Are you talking about Posca? Are you talking a Posca? No. Mine doesn't turn gray. You got to shake it up, though. Make sure that it's... Otherwise, it's kind of watery. You have to make sure you shake it up every time. Okay, so there we go on the inside of that. And again, what I want to do is on these doors, I want them to be kind of lined with gold. Let's see how much what gold do I want? Do I want? Let me see if my gold Posca is going to be gold enough. Let's see. That might work. So I'm going to do the... Oops, I got a little bit on the sky there. Can y'all see that gold on the door? Right there. The doors are a little crunchy, I gotta say. Because, you know, we have put matte medium on them. And it's just thin paper. Okay, so there. Let's put a little bit down here, too. Use some gold because see, I want some gold on the branches too. All right, let's see what we can get with the gold now. And I want to get out some jewelry. I want to use, I got some other, what else? Oh, I got this bling here. I had it out. What I do with it? That's the, there's some purple there, but I got some. Oh, what do I do with that bling? Uh oh. Uh, now I'm really making a mess. Y'all should see, after a stream, we'll spend another hour at least cleaning. I'm looking for this purple bling I have, and I don't know where I put it. I thought I put it with my clothes stuff. Well, hang on, guys. I'm digging. Digging around, looking for that purple bling which I am not finding. It's a pretty gold star. I have this bling but it's not I have another pack of this. Oh wait, is that it? No. Well I guess I could use some of the purple or the so I was looking for my blings. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and do this door first. I'm not looking at chat, guys. Sorry. I know it's a little annoying when your host doesn't talk to you. But I usually do. It's not too many times I don't talk with you guys. And there's a project like this. Going around the door. Okay, let's go on the outside of this one. Just a little hint of a little gold on the edge. Okay. Put a couple gold. Here. So what I'm thinking is something like I don't trust sticker glue. These kind of details on the piece. It's 
It's a lot of work for something that's going to end up in the trash, isn't it? <laughs> okay, like that. And of course, the glue will dry clear. You see the little knobs there? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to let that sit because that needs to dry, you know. So you see how we've got gold all the way around? Gold all the way around that door. Yeah, little doorknobs. <laughs> but what I want to do, like up in here, <clears throat> see, I want to go over all this purple with just a little gold, extra gold. Gives it a little more dimension. See what I'm talking about? But I'm going to want to get in here with some little branches. Little tiny ones. Which take time. So I'll have to do some of this off camera. I'm not going to varnish it here. Because I won't finish it. And you can't do... You can't do anything on top of varnish, right? So you see all the gold I want to put in there? All right, let's see. Let's do something else on another door. Hmm. Let's see. Let's maybe go over to this one here. Well, it's probably easier. I don't know what I want to do in this one. I don't have any idea what I want to put in there. Um, let's, oh, I know what I do want to do is I wanted to glue some spider web, but I see I've got to finish the gold first. Before I put the spider web on, I have to have all the gold done. Do you know what I mean, Vern? So I have to have all this done. But once, this, once I get all the little smaller branches and the tree trunks done with gold, maybe a little knot there or something, then what I'll do is something like this. Say, like attached to his hand maybe, like right there. I guess I could still go ahead and put that down here. Let's just get a little bit more gold right in here. All right, so now don't roll away. It'd probably be easier to do this with a matte medium, but I'm going to just try to get as much as I can. Let's get on the edges especially. And again, this is going to be dry clear. I'm going to try to get as many little things done on here as I can. See, then I'll go back and fill in and do stuff that I'm not going to have time to do. Okay. No, no, I don't think I want anything tied around the stem. I want the stem to show, I think. I might put a jewel or a bling or something. All right, see, now I've got to, now i got to sit here with this because <laughs> it wants to, it wants to, um, you know, it's not, uh, it's round. 
and it wants to flip up. So I've got to kind of hold down. I could put some gold on top of this too after it dry after the glue dries I could put some uh, gold on the spider web you know although it is showing up fairly well I'm not, I didn't get glue on every single one though what do y'all think does that look good I like it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I have it. Oh, I have the only bats I have are these little tiny ones, I think. Oh. All right, so let's see. All right, let's go back over here now. Let's put the glue back. Let's go to this door. Okay, let's move all this away. Oh, I got a standard camera here. I want to do at least one mist for you coming out of one of the doors. We'll do this door, we'll do the mist. And then I'll do my happy mail. And then I'll have to do the rest of the pumpkin off camera. After I uh, finish it, I'll do. I'll try to do a little video. I'll try to do a one-minute spin. You know, do a video. I'll, I'll have Hubster hold the camera so I can spin it or have him spin it and I'll film it. See, so the paper's kind of floating in the air. It doesn't have to be too neat. It's an old, decrepit door. I'm not looking at chat, guys, so hang on. Okay. Oh, you how come you haven't streamed again, Sharon? Or have you? And I I hope that I get notifications. Have you streamed again since you did that first one? Waiting for an answer. Waiting for an answer. Waiting for an answer. Too hard. What do you mean too hard? You set yourself up with a camera and we you got going and you did a video and now it's too hard? What the heck, girl? It's not too hard. You've already done the hard part. You set it all up and started. Gold. Okay, so I'm just kind of outlining it. All right, so let me finish this and we'll do a little bit of happy mail from Colleen and Beth. I don't know if they're still here. I want to do some mist coming out of this window or this door rather. Okay, so I just kind of outlined them with gold just to give them a little you know, sparkle. Um, I will try and soon must get my desk one. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. All right, let me dry this. Oh, there's Hubster. I gotta go let him in. Everybody goes, why doesn't he have a key? It's the glass door, guys. The glass door. Um doesn't lock and it's a lock, hand lock. There's no key. decides to go into the garage. I didn't get to glue on the cats yet. See? Because uh, there's not enough time to get all that. Old things I can put around it. Some other little... Yeah, we didn't get the jewels. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. show you what we got so far and then we'll do some mist and then that's all we have time for okay 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 i guess um i guess we're done <laughs>